You're looking at a dual motor device that I've built. These are slow turning motors. You can get them in a number of places. I've got them connected by Legos. I love my Legos. And then in the center, I've got some clips that'll hold a laser pointer. And if you twist it, it'll hold the button on. And with a little smoke in the air, you can see the beam. I just love watching the beam. I also have a device called a diffraction grating, and these are one plane diffraction gratings. I've uh, connected them again with Legos so that when the laser goes through it, it uh, diffracts into a number of beams. These beams allow you to uh, spread the beam out. There's a primary beam in the center and then secondary beams. And then when you turn the motor on, the diffraction grating turns, and so those beams turn automatically. It's a pretty neat effect. With a bright laser, this goes out over an audience, and it's pretty wild. I'm now going to place a second diffraction grating. This is also a single plane diffraction grating, just like the first one. Place it on the second motor so that there's a section in the center where the two diffraction gratings overlap. And then you turn them both on and you get the beams from one diffracting through the diffraction grating. And This is a weaving pattern of beams up and down and then the axis rotates of those beams. Again with smoke in the air it's just absolutely stunning. Turn it sideways a little bit. You can see the pattern that it starts making on the wall. It's a pretty exciting pattern as well. I like the beam effect, but a lot of lasers are designed to be projected onto a screen, and so this produces a real nice screen effect as well. I just love this. Handheld, battery powered, carry it with me. Very easy to construct. The secret, of course, is those motors. Well, good luck if you try building one of your own. Faster speeds produce different things. Experiment.